Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Moskis, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Hey, hello. Uh, do you know that last Sunday you said Wednesday? Did I? Somebody said that. Somebody said that on maybe the thumbnail or something. Oh, sorry, guys. Instead of Sunday, it said, because somebody said, though, they missed it because they thought they already watched it, and then they watched it again, and oh! it was Sunday, but I don't, know, I don't know if that's true, because Sorry. Um, I try not to watch us at home. <laughs> <laughs> Paul watches us. You know, sometimes if we're scrolling around through YouTube, he'll say, oh, wait, uh -huh. wait, let's watch that. No, we're not watching that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, wait for a second, what did I say about Paul? <laughs> right. Can you watch this one? Oh, I don't no, know. not a thing. <laughs> Um, so, and if you are new to our channel, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in Central Washington State. We have a, we've been here for 25 years. We have a large quilt shop, over 10,000 uh, bolts of fabric. We have the YouTube channel where we do the box openings. We do tutorials. We do fabric chat. We ship everything for um, pretty much. I would say, Tracy, you get things saying out like same day except for weekends if you're doing a friday afternoon Pretty much. order Most of the time, yeah. tracy's not coming back until monday but otherwise um same day she has them down to the your orders down to the post office by three o'clock we do charge nine dollars for shipping but that's because um, they pretty much go priority, so um, so you get them. People are pretty amazed at how fast yeah. they get stuff, which is really, really nice. Um, we also have a retreat center. We have a pattern line, and mm -hmm. I don't know, and we like to hang out. And uh, we talk a lot, and we'd yes. already warned you because this morning we had a uh, fabric chat where we gave you a Harper update, mm -hmm. a shop update. Yep. Um, we talked about our book club a little bit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't know what else. I think we talked about a couple things. Some UK slang. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some education. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, uh, I have been having issues with my phone and with the internet, so I think we've warned you. We will kind of be chatting a bit as we go. And we, we do that anyway, even without warning. We, That's true. That's true. We visit a whole bunch because it's about the fabric, but it's also about whatever else. So yes. um, anyway, okay. we have a lot of boxes and a lot of them are like super heavy, big boxes. So I'm thinking yeah, is, a lot um, of notions. Can you hear her? She said a lot of notions. We had moved some stuff around and we found that it was an opportunity to um, uh, fill up some holes. I don't know. Some I know holes. you brought a whole bunch of them and now... And then also while she's opening that, somebody had asked the question, Cindy, what's on your cup? This is still the same cup because I picked it up and Brianna goes, don't drink out of that. that That's really old. So I'm not going to drink out of it. <laughs> but everyone, you guys wanted to know, two people asked, what does what's it say on your cup? It says Nana, noun, and it says uh, source of infinite hugs and kisses, maker of warm cookies with big glasses of milk. A mommy with lots of frosting. Mm. <laughs> and license to spoil. <laughs> That's exactly right. Sounds like I don't know if we had mentioned this to you guys or not, but um, that, uh, uh, you know, I have six grandkids. Maisie is the youngest. I'm sure you'll see her at some point. Um, she'll be running around. You guys will be able to see her. But um, and, and they all come and spend time at my house, and they'll spend the night or spend the day or do whatever. And they yeah. all love to come over, and they don't like to leave. But Maisie has taken it to a, a whole, whole nother level. level. It's and it's so... <laughs> It's the funniest thing because I was telling. Uh, it's heartbreaking Tracy, and so much love all at the same time. It's the <laughs> most joy and the most sadness at exactly the same time. She is the first one yeah. that will just clutch me and scream that she doesn't have to want peel to leave. Her to off. Peel her away from me for her to go home. It doesn't matter how long she's been there. She doesn't want to leave me. And I think, oh, I just love that so much. And I think, oh, I just love her so much. <laughs> I can't decide how I feel about it. It just yeah. Poor little She's honey the first bunch. one. First Who one. Wants? No. I am she staying will with put her hand out to me and just no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't look at me. I am yeah. staying here. She, if Nana's involved, <laughs> nothing else matters. I love it. I love it. Oh, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Ooh, I might have to go get these before you guys see these. I might oh, have yeah. to go get the samples. So forget you for saw sure. these for a moment. But oh, that one's cool. 
Oh, I the think new you bag have that pattern. sample too. Uh, I don't think I have that one. Oh no, we have one like at the runway bag. All right, well maybe we'll show you something while some we things. while we um, go get some other stuff. What is it? Is that the little sachet book? Maybe. So we've been all into sachet. Oh, Tracy, bring your thing. Do you have your sachet? Do you have your sample with you? Yeah, <gasps> oh, show and tell. It's cool. So Tracy, um, you know, uh, we've been trying to corrupt we her. We won't zoom in. in. You have to come over fine. on our side. Come over on our side. We've been trying to corrupt her. Come on over on this side so I can see your pretty face. Um, with quilting, and she's done a quilt. She's actually even long armed a quilt on my um, long arm, <laughs> but uh, we've a not been. Ago, huh? But we've not been able to corrupt her too much. But she is really liking sashiko, and you've decided the, the we're going boro, the yeah. boro. Yeah, I and like that. I mean, I think sashiko is beautiful, but um, I, I figured the boro is more forgiving at this point to so just give it a try and then maybe go on to more intricate. Um, Stitching. This is fantastic. And this is your first attempt. Yeah. Um, yeah, really. First time, this is it. Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. It's My fun. first time would not even look, you know. Oh, sure. You would not. You're know. a hand stitcher. I'm like, mm. I don't stitch anything. That's cool. But that's what Tashko is. It's fantastic. Just chunky stitches. I mean, it's cool. Well, the burrow is. I love it. Yeah. I, like, I love it. And I love the layering of the fabrics. She's putting together kits as we speak behind us because for her um, mixed media retreat, we are going to have a special afternoon yeah. and you guys will do this as a class. It's because it really is fun. Because I mean, then you're going to like do some sort of a I put this with. Yeah, this can be used on anything really if we do a little doll or if it. we put it in a frame oh, yeah. or we can layer mixed yes. media items on it. Uh, you know, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of things we could do. A lot of potential. I love it. So we'll have some fun with this. This stitching. makes me so happy. Yeah. So we've been buying more and more um, sashiko needles and threads and some books, and we're trying to, we're trying <laughs> to find access to the David and Charles Publishing Company. So we'll keep working on that. Yeah. I didn't work on that last night because I am having internet issues. I've whined uh, about that what yeah. twelve so times like, already. Mm -hmm. keep that. So like it's so like right so now. Blake. I don't know if we're back. Oh, on is it all of us? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because I I couldn't look at anything this morning. So it's paralyzing. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like when it rains over there, mm -hmm. it seems to be mm. because we checked outside and the the light is on and mm. it says you have internet. Yeah, mine says I did. No. <laughs> so, yeah, mine said oh, I did. Yeah. This is uh, probably good for us sometimes. That's right. You we know, can just a little cleansing. From yes, <laughs> yes. Except for people that are waiting to hear from you, and, and then they're us, going, yeah. "What is True. happening?" Oh, well, All thanks. Right. We'll yes. have fun. Thank you. They're all, they're all applauding from home. They're all <laughs> commenting. You're breaking the internet right now. Tracy, that's so beautiful. It's cool. Oh my God, Tracy, you're so talented. <laughs> she heard it. Thank you. Sally Catlin. Yeah, I think we showed Sally at one point. Oh, yeah, we did. In there. Yeah, so yeah, you guys have met her. I think, um, should we take just a minute and organize it? Looks like we have to go um, get some things. Yeah, because I feel like we need to go get them some pink cushions to look at. We do have to get you guys some um, things to show you. I feel I have some show and tell we have to grab. It is a lot of, yeah, we're yeah. going to grab a couple things. So I'm going to grab some show and tell. I'm going to empty up one more box and then we'll show everything at once. We are. Okay, there's a whole hodgepodge of, it is a lot <laughs> of stuff here. And hopefully maybe some new things that maybe you haven't seen before. Some things that are kind of old classic favorites. Yeah. So one thing, um, first of all, is we refilled a whole bunch of our tulip needles or the mm -hmm. Hiroshima needles. And there was just a bunch that we were out of. And mm -hmm. if you don't know the difference, so there's Hiroshima needles and then there's other carded needles. And there is a difference uh, with the needles not just in price. I mean, these, um, these, the, and these are both uh, Milner size seven. Milner size seven is probably our top selling needle, probably. Yeah, I think so. And the main reason is because of people that are doing um, Laura Estes. Um, yeah, the ruching or yo-yo making. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's her favorite one. So it's a Milner. So it's and it's a little bit longer, um, uh, nice needle. But this needle is probably what about. I mean, for it's this right. package, two, two fifty, three bucks, two fifty, three bucks, mm -hmm. um, and this is probably what six dollars. Like, oh, I think it's like more, mm, than, more seven. than that. Yeah. 
uh, for less needles. And so the difference is the difference is the way that they're honed. And so what will happen is often is when they're sharpening needles, if you've ever watched the How Are They Made um, episodes where they show all sorts of weird things. So needles, what they do when they're polishing these um, pieces of steel, it goes into something and it's spinning around like this. Um, and so it creates this microscopic groove that mm -hmm. goes around the needle this way that would perhaps create some sort of drag. Mm. I don't know that I necessarily noticed that, but uh, I, I would say, I, I guess I shouldn't say that. I would say that it probably isn't that big of a deal, but I would say I do notice. Right. I was going to say, you don't know it's a deal until you, you try don't something know it. different. You can notice the difference when you glide through with a and Hiroshima the, needle. And the fact that you're paying over a dollar per needle, but the difference is because when it's honed, it, it, it goes along the shaft. Mm -hmm. And so it it sharpens it a little different way so that um, there is no drag at all. Mm -hmm. So it would be the same thing if you're just a swimmer and you yeah. want to swim fast or you are an Olympic swimmer and you shave every single hair off of your body so mm -hmm. there's no drag. So it's, you know, yeah. differences. So anyway, really, really good needles, really, really nice, mm -hmm. a kind of spendy, but really in the grand scheme of notions, I mean, you're paying a dollar. Yeah. And they're still going to last video. long, too. You get so many of these because these dull super fast. They do. All that jazz. Yeah. We also have the Sashiko needles yeah. in the Hiroshima. They are in long or short needles. Mm -hmm. So if you are someone who likes a long needle to take multiple stitches at a time, or you like the short needles because you're just a stabber, and it doesn't yeah. even matter. But you can get the Hiroshima, which they're really nice. Mm-hmm. And we have all of, we carry all of the Hiroshima yeah. needles. Um, I think it's also on here. There were some chenille needles, some embroidery needles, hand mm -hmm. quilting needles. All right. So the other thing that we went and got was, um, this was the samples that we Thank went to get. Yes. So we used to, for um, over five years, we did, so we did 62 um, Saturdays, uh, 60, 62 weeks, 62 classes. Wait, I have to think about this. How am I doing my math? I it was idea. over. I remember there. I know that there was 62. So I guess it's um, 12 per year because the first Saturday. Yeah, first Saturday of the month. First right. Saturday of the month, every month for over five years. There you go. I should have started with that. We did Pin Cushion Club. And um, so we have made, we have over 52 pin cushions. Some are our own patterns, some yeah. are other people's patterns that we picked. It didn't really matter. So when they came to the class, um, we had, at that time, we had kits and their pattern. We do not have kits for these. Just um, patterns. Just patterns. But, um, and so, and they were always seasonal. So we, I think we obviously did five different mm -hmm. Halloween ones and we did five different Santa ones and um, but anyway this is this one and then I just thought just for fun in case you wanted to see so this one is called what I'm um, trigger treat trigger treat Ooh, I should have looked to see what this and one I think called. he's a pumpkin pin pumpkin pin his name is mm -hmm. kind of cute adorable and then this one was one what's this one called this one is called Santa Santa, Santa hat, hat. pin keep isn't that cute oh, super cute it is really cute. So fast. Yeah. Super, super fast. We did a lot of them out of wool because it was super simple, but you don't have to. You can do them out of cotton. doesn't make any difference. You can do them out of felt. felt. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Again, a lot of these pincushions aren't. They're just for decoration. We, we weren't Very, really putting pins in them. No. no. Very few actually get poked. I know. And people <laughs> ask, what do you do with all of those? We're putting them on They're our shelf. They're now called bowl fillers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not poking them. That's not what no. we're doing. We're just having fun. And this little guy, what's he called? Puppy Love. Puppy Love. Super cute. And we just had a really cool ribbon yeah. that we used for a collar. The same thing for, um, did you bring the kitty? I did. Yeah. <laughs> the kitty, we gave her bling. So again, yeah. Yeah. Puppy Love or I think that's here kitty maybe. Here kitty. I don't know. I'll let you know. Mm. I think we have three or four different cats. Yes. But it looks just like this. So, yeah, yeah we have lots of cats. We like the cats. And, and all the pink Just because I thought I would bring this little Super guy. cute. We yes. did him for Valentine's Day one year. I don't know yeah. what he's called. Puppy Teddy Love or... Yeah, I think Bear's in it. Bear. Bear Rose. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We have a lot but, of And all of the pink are together. So, yeah. um, we do like Cottonwood Creations. Jennifer, she's our favorite um, pink designer. Mm -hmm. But there are other ones in there that you will see mm -hmm. that are really nice and really fun. Mm -hmm. And... 
It's just fun. fun. We don't have kits. And um, even that idea, because oftentimes you guys will use your notes and say, hey, can you put a kit together We will for tell me? you no, unfortunately. Not on that. Because, um, yeah, it's hard. Um, this the amount of little wool, piece of black yeah. and a little piece of yellow mm -hmm. and a little piece of oh. now that being said if you want help finding buttons we do have buttons available and I might be able to find you some eye and some nose buttons you know I think eyes are about 15 cents a button and other things so if you're looking for buttons I'll also um, link the buttons for you so if you're wanting to look for eyes and other things you'll find those but we can also help you with that but yeah kidding of wool we will have to let you down sorry when we resume pin cushion club when we have our classroom back we will have then, kits for you then so coming soon. as available but yes. at the moment no okay um i also got the black fly fine line pen it's just a permanent fine point pen um one that is just we have a couple we have this one we have the identa pen which is a um felt tip large and a small pint point pen for marking for labels and other things and even the pigma pens that are super super tiny in case you want to actually draw on your line for embroidery and then this one's a little bit in between but a nice permanent non-bleed black and pen. that's important for you guys to remember is that you want to make sure that you're using an appropriate fabric pen for those of you as we get into wedding season and people are doing um signed um memory oh. quilts or that or quilt blocks that sort of thing make sure that it is something that is smudge proof bleed proof waterproof fade proof so really um a regular sharpie pen is not what you should use at all yeah um, popular pattern. We, of course, have most of the Villa Rosa patterns. Um, we uh, still get, we still belong to a group, um, a, a subscription, I guess, where mm -hmm. we get the new five newest patterns every month. And then also when we yes. get those, um, some of you guys have already signed up for that. Do we have any of those subscriptions left? Maybe a couple? A couple left where if you wanted to do that, um, what you do is because we started that in January, December, in oh, December, December was, January. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you sign up now, you would get March, February and January. But then every month when we get the five newest ones, you, you get too. an automatic shipment of the five newest Villa Rosa patterns. They are really well yeah. done. These girls have absolutely got it going on because it's pretty simple. I mean, they're not going to tell you all kinds of sewing details. You kind of need to know about cutting and pressing and that sort of thing. But it's all of the basics that you need to know about how much fabric you need, how to piece the block, put the block together and boom, Bob's your uncle all done. So works out really well. And what's really nice about it too is that um, it'll fit inside a gift card. So if you have- Yeah, just four by six. Yeah, just a little present for somebody. But mm -hmm. anyway, they're kind of cool, inexpensive, really nice. Yeah. I like this one. Um, another marking utensil, these are water soluble pencils. Mm -hmm. So three colors, you've got the white, pink, and blue with a cap, just sharpen them like a regular pencil, but they will go off in the wash, um, dissolved by water. Mm -hmm. So if you want something to last a while, if you're cutting, um, all of that, you're good to go. She's dreaming. It's not Lizzie. Can you guys hear Lizzie? She's chasing a squirrel. Squirrel. Funny girl. <laughs> Isn't that that thing that you're not supposed to wake them up? That they don't remember their dream, but if you wake them up, then... You're not they... supposed to wake up anybody from a dream. No, because they even you remember it. You know? I don't remember it either, either way. I Whether I really... sleep through it or I am woken up by a child, I, do, I cannot remember a dream. I remembered this morning I woke up. I, I feel like I got this... a lot of deja vu lately, yeah. but... Um... Oh, you should read that. Wait till you read... Uh, um, wrong place, wrong time. Okay explains deja vu um anyways uh i woke up this morning from a horrible nightmare that i had decided i've been in this spring cleaning mode you know my house is a wreck and uh <laughs> so i've been cleaning out weird cabinets and i'm changing out some pictures and reframing some pictures and for whatever reason in my dream i decided that i was going to wash all of these pictures so i took all of my framed pictures and put them in the dishwasher <laughs> Like, Don't do that. Why would I do that? <laughs> I know. I woke up. I bolted up right best. Like, what were you thinking? And I thought, oh, I, was like, I would that? not have done. <laughs> well, good thing in the assisted living, you don't get to do your own dishes. Oh, thank God. Uh, you assisted living, I'm moving in with your house. What? What? I mean, it, your, your grandma pod won't have a dishwasher. My grandma pod. <laughs> I don't need one in my grandma pod. <laughs> 
She'll be at my house all the time. Yes, I no, will. Need dishes. Just give yeah. me a coffee cup. Our good mm -hmm. coffee cup. <laughs> That's right. And a baby. Uh, all right. Uh, our favorite scissors. Yep. You Karen know. K. Buckley. Karen K. Buckley. So these are really nice. And there's two different ones. There's these or there's the pink handled ones. Yeah, there's three sizes. There's a small, a medium, and yeah. a large. The larger purple. Yeah. Um, then you've got the blue and then the mini ones, yeah, are green. Yeah. So there's a couple different ones. Somebody grabbed my minis and started cheesing them on. It's a and I'm like, oh! Oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> no, do not let anybody handle oh, your scissors. Uh, uh, what's nice about these is that they have like a Teflon coating, so mm -hmm. if you're cutting through anything fusible, uh, it doesn't stick. Also has the slightest little serrated edge, so if you're cutting through wool or whatever, it'll kind of grip it a little bit so that it's a little mm -hmm. easier to cut with. Um, and what's particularly nice about the blue handled ones is that this is a larger handle, mm -hmm. so if you had, have maybe some thumb arthritis and maybe a little bit of swelling. I feel like all of them, even the large, here. large blade scissors, I think are large. Are larger. Larger. They are. It, and it me better. makes them for a left-handed or a right-handed. Yeah. So and you guys know the trick, right, to keep people from touching your scissors that they should not be touching, and that is a, um, a little padlock. Mm -hmm. You well, just put the little, little padlock just right there, right along your scissors. Oh, if they're sitting beside you, you oh. smack them. Oh, this stab <laughs> that's a stabable event uh, um, offense. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Take it from them. Create, no. a, create a distraction. Right. <laughs> oh, you want to show them the other one too? Yeah. So the glue pins, we have a couple of them, and, yeah. and we've talked about this before, that they're equally good. So there is a, an or, a yellow. Yeah, yellow, neon yellow. That's the Quilter Select Quilter one. Select. Or So Line has the same one, and it's pink. New packaging. It's a whole lot of packaging for this one. But you get a pen um, and a refill, and then you also can get additional refills. They are it very looks white. similar. It is bright pink. It's pink. I, I, yeah, I very feel similar. that they're different. I think the only difference is I think um, like this beginner part is cheaper than Quilter Select, but they're, the refills for Sewline are more, where the refills for Quilter Select are less. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. Yeah, They're um, a nice, soft, bright glue that dries clear and totally washable, totally flexible, so through it the same you thing. You can stitch through it. So it doesn't matter. It just depends on what color works best for you. I like the neon one, but... Yeah. It just I like that bright. I use it a lot for machine embroidery, so I like to see where my glue is still sticky, where mm -hmm. I have glued so I can stick on my next piece and continue to embroider. Mm -hmm. it, they are totally great. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Equally good. Yeah. Whatever you have. Um, let's see. Uh, a, a bunch of new patterns. I feel like this one is new. Do you think this one is new? I think so. It's cute. Uh, Lella Boutique. Uh, is that fabric we have? What is that? It must be because I think by Vanessa. What is this? Well, it's Lella oh, Boutique. Oh, fabric is Love Notes by Lella Boutique. I don't know. It looks very familiar. It's cute. A lot of her stuff all looks the same. This could oh, be similar sure. to what you showed this morning yeah. because it just take it doesn't take very much fabric at all. Could take like eight fat quarters or six um, eight fat eights that are pink and taupe and eight fat eights that are green leafy stem. Yeah. Two yards of white fabric. Cute little flower. Really mm -hmm. cute little flower. So I like kind it. of fun. Sometimes we'll order the patterns that are featuring the fabric that we've got. Yeah. That that comes in. So that's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. This one is a reorder. We showed this one to you guys. Um, gosh, a while, should I take it out of the uh, plastic so it doesn't glare? Sure. Yeah. Um, um, like a week ago, ago or so. And this one. is really a really popular. Um, we've seen this in um, a bunch of patterns so far. I mean, in in a bunch of um, fabric ways so far. So this is kind of nice because they've almost done this ombre star effect. Mm -hmm. But you can also do it um, multicolor, yeah. and then also on the back it shows you all of the different quilt layout options for it. But it's a really cool block. I, yeah. I really like this one. It's called Watercolors, um, and we got some reference books. So again, mm -hmm. um, the Quilters Reference Tool is super great for a new quilter, or even a quilter who, if you've been quilting for a while, it's a good one just to take with you to retreats. I have this one just next to my sewing table in case I need to know well how many squares do I need, or um, if I do set this on point how much fabric am I really looking at so I can use my stash effectively I know I won't have to go to the quilt shop to look for a quarter of a yard because I'm a strip short kind of a thing so you've got all your basic math for quilt
quilt borders, sashing, cornerstones, and even some fun um, techniques in the back. So if you're working on a quilt and you're struggling maybe just a little bit, you can look for something, uh, a different reference on how to make that block. Mm -hmm. And then a hand embroidery reference book. Um, and it's just um, stitches at a glance. A little more detailed. You've got the illustrations and the words. So if you're someone who is better with words and doing it or pictures, you've got both. And what's really nice is even though it's a teeny tiny little reference book, it's still going to talk to you a little bit about threads and needles and that yeah. kind of thing. It's kind of fun. And then this is this um, OESD um, Presser's Cloth and we've showed you guys this before. So um, it's a press cloth but a little bit different. So yeah. we often, I often use my Teflon pressing sheet mm -hmm. um, just mm -hmm. to make sure that I'm protecting my iron and protecting my um, pressing surface. Surface. This is a little bit different. If you are doing machine embroidery and you have some puffy stitches or if you've done some hand embroidery and you want to press that piece but you don't want to flatten yeah. your work. Um, same thing with wool. I mean that's what's so nice about it is all of that texture that you mm -hmm. see. So that's what this is. Is It's this funny little pressing sheet that looks like I mean it looks like a piece of wool it's really yeah. fairly thick but that's the whole idea of it is that you're going to go ahead and put this down over the top of your again machine embroidered hand embroidered mm -hmm. wool applique piece and press it and it um, it keeps that dimension yeah it mm -hmm. doesn't squish and flatten everything yeah. as so if, if you've you got like it. french knots or drizzle stitches or some of those more um, yeah. actual volume stitches it's not going to go flat if, like if you were stuck an iron right on top of it yeah it'll protect those stitches but yeah. press everything that's around it and it's, it's super, super inexpensive it's like like six bucks or something yeah it's super great. cheap and you could even cut it in half yeah. like oh that's way too big for me and i'll share with the friend or or put it in a you know in a different pile than yeah. your retreat bags yeah um circles um perfect circles these are um template circles that are heat resistant so depending on what circles you're making these are the circles that i'm using to make harper's yo-yo templates because i feel like she'd really like the stitching something mm -hmm. to do out here a little more quiet something to keep her mind busy and her lips not it's a thing. <laughs> yeah. What I get from you and this, this and what I want life. is this. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> so I'm just going to, and making yo-yos are super easy. And once we do it, I can show everybody a quick demo on how to make a quick yo-yo. I but think that we have we have a video of me showing this. <gasps> oh, you do? From, from the applique. Gossip in the Garden or something? You yeah. do. I have an application. And video you don't this. have to do yo yo's this way. It's just having that clean edge for Harper is going to be easy for me to. And um, Harper, if you've heard her t names too, we have two Harpers in our life at the moment. Right. One in Pennsylvania, who is our um, new Harper. heart love. And then my Harper, who is five, um, who will start kindergarten in the fall. Um, grandchild number four. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to get that clean edge, that good quarter inch, so she can um, stitch around however her stitches come, and then we can cinch it up to make some really cute yo-yos, turn them into little posies, anything cute. Um, but you don't have to do this to make a yo-yo, but I think it'd be that it's easy success, and she's going to have a perfect yo-yo every time I can prep her squares, circles for her, and we can make big ones, little ones. But I think I'm going to use the bigger ones, because... Mm -hmm. You get teeny tiny in that one. But they're so cute. <laughs> I have all of the sizes. So this is the perfect circles. And you can see that they're itty, 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 bitty. And I think there's like mm -hmm. three of each size. So you can just kind of keep going. And I think I show you that in the video. Yeah. And then there's the big ones. There's also petal shapes. Yep. And there's a fourth one. The I have all of them. Petal ones are great. When we did our Mississippi River Cruise, yeah. um, we did applique petals. And I did all of them. That It was yeah. so singing fast. But yeah, yeah, you get multiples in each size. So you can just keep circling them but they're great and they're heat resistant so you can yeah. smack these with your iron and your iron is not going to melt it and it's not going to get warped either right fantastic nice all right we got a couple of books I, are these new books oh happy uh, day i feel like I'm, i don't know if i've, seen, I don't know if I've seen this one before oh happy day it's 21 cheery quilts and pillows that you'll love oh it's by Corey yoder cute it's got to be cute so Corey Yoder. So how many? Twenty one. Quilts and pillows. That's wow. fantastic. Am I standing in front of you? It, if I it's do fine. This? Go for it. So there's a lot. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, they can't That's see it. Cute. Come over to me more. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cute things. That's cute. Oh, I see. And then she's showing pillows too. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I do too. Yes. Yeah, so whether you want to do a a quilt or something small. Yeah. It's all there. 
Cute. I think both of these are oh. viewers. Oh. I think I've seen these before. Um, oh. Quilt the Rainbow, a spectrum of 10 eye-catching colorful quilts. Wait, one more, one more. Okay. <laughs> so if you're somebody who does a lot of Jason Yanter stuff, or maybe has a lot of Jason Yanter oh. stuff in your um, stash, I feel like he is eye-catching color. Oh, oh, and look at that. So then, so did you guys see? So there was like a pink quilt, and then there was like an orange quilt, and there was a oh, yellow quilt. Oh, by color. That's oh, cool. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, fun. Huh. So yeah, super fun, good things in there. Cute. Two really good books. Yeah. And then I do have and a third much. one. This one is a bit of applique, easy projects with modern flair. That one is a reorder. I think this we've had a, that one this for one's a, good a while. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you do, <coughs> and so I know that applique is not everybody's favorite thing to do, but I think this one also talks about fusible applique, mm -hmm. machine stitched applique, hand applique, kind of gives you, and just tiny little bits of applique, uh, thus the name, yeah. um, so that you can just do a tiny little bit, see if you like it, and by the way, now it's a pillow, or now it's a purse, or now it's a little bag, or, right. you know, whatever. So, kind of nice again, if it's something, something that you do like, who says you have to turn that block into a bag? You can make right. six of those blocks and right. turn it into a small quilt. Yeah, but... Super cute. cute. All right, um, two more patterns. patterns. That one's good. So this is similar to, so we have a pattern called um, On the Fly. On the Fly, mm -hmm. that is the same migrating geese yeah. technique. And then we have done it with like, um, with some panels of like a focus print in there. Mm -hmm. So it could be this way and it could be fish or it could be geese, it could be whatever you want it to be. So it's a fairly it's popular pattern for us. This one is really similar. It's that same migrating geese, but see, it's just stripes. So I'm gonna flip it around. Can you guys, yeah. is that not too so bad? So you can set it off color? with, if you even, I mean, I know there's a different widths on a, um, on your quilt part of it, but it could mm -hmm. be a jelly roll. If you have a yeah. partial jelly roll or a full one that someone loves in your family, you can make that the strip part, it's a jelly roll, and yeah. then fill in with your geese for other color. Um, and this is called snowflakes. I'm going to take it out of the package. Is that, is that two different blocks? Um, yeah, it looks like it's just two blocks in there. Oh, it's so pale. Um, I'm going to come. I, I'll have see. you hold it, and okay. then I'll come across. Yeah, because it's white. And blue. It takes um, four and a half yards of background and six half yard cuts of aqua prints, um, because of course that's what they used was aqua. But six half yard cuts, so it's kind of fun to have a two color quilt that is really mixed colors and just two blocks that makes it kind of interesting but that's pretty yeah super cool and it makes it um, 68 by 68 but of course with all of these um, quilts like this all you have to do is just make more blocks or less blocks uh, if you want it to be bigger or smaller so that's pretty cute so it's called snowflakes cute all right all right and that was my notion box that was three boxes of notions um, we had book oh, box. Did we show this? Oh, we didn't show that one. Sally mm -hmm. Tomato. So um, we are addicted to cool. bags. Uh, Sally Tomato is some really good patterns. Um, we also have um, By Annie and then Aunties 2 yep. are the ones that we d make the most of. And of course, we have all of the um, Sally Tomato kind of faux leather, faux crocodile, faux everything mm -hmm. that's kind of fun. So um, the one that I was thinking when I saw this, I thought it was the runway the, bag. We have yeah. um, or that the zippy. one. Or the zippy. Or the zippy. Yeah, we have too. several of them. But this one, um, it's mm -hmm. kind of fun. It, what's kind of fun is that her patterns, I mean, you can't tell that they're homemade. No, which they're is beautiful. kind of, I mean, I either want it to absolutely look homemade mm -hmm. because I'm going to put a quilt block in it and I want all my quilting friends to go, oh, did you make that bag? Right. Why, yes, yes, I did. Or I want something or, stylish that you got right out of the market. Marshalls, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. So I we way. have a lot of also um, the Sally Tomato hardware. Yeah. And the stuff where you can actually even, you know, put something kind of fun on there mm -hmm. to make it look like Yeah. A, and that, yeah, like a little Prada thing. And yeah. that's just a Brad. It's super <laughs> easy to put in. So I don't think it really says it's Prada. Not Prada but, but, you know, <laughs> if a dog got to a really bad bag and you lost it, you got rid of the dog, but you want to keep the bag. That's right. That's right. Put it on your bag. That's right. Who's going to know? <laughs> right? Uh, all right. Okay. okay. We're going to clean some stuff up and then we've got more bags. Yeah, I think some, those are Hoffman fabric. bags. I mean, yeah. boxes. I got a Hoffman box and I got some QT. QT. Box. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. So we were thinking, so um, just real quick, as we were putting things away, we started thinking, we haven't shown you guys um, the recent the Villa, Villa Rosa, Rosa because now when the new ones come in, 
Tracy immediately takes them. She does them her thing. And does her thing. And so maybe you guys haven't seen them. So we thought we would just show you really quick. And here's the deal with this, is that Villa Rosa patterns, if you're not familiar, um, Villa Rosa patterns um, uh, retail for $2.99 each. Super, super good deal for a quick yep. little um, inexpensive pattern. But when you do the auto ship, with the collection of and they're brand new never before seen yep that's the ones that we give um at each month um it figures out to you get at the end of by the end of the year um when you've prepaid for the full because you pay for the year's subscription up front you get 20 of these are free so um, so you pay for eight months worth and you get um, 12 months worth. It's a crazy, crazy good deal because I think that it's like $100 off. I think if it's you were great. to pay for all of these individually, I think it's like $219 worth and you pay like 120 So it really is a good deal because you can go through them, um, save the ones that you want, gift the ones that you don't. Absolutely. Um, but they, they really are nice. So these are the ones that are the first three months. So um, the January, February, and March. Is that right? December, January, February, March. Aren't there four packets? There's there? sure. Yes, there's four. So I'm, I'm getting them mixed up. December, which is January. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. January, February, I March. I yeah. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, because you can join whenever you want to because it is one fee for the year and then Tracy will start you wherever you are with whatever you've missed. So if you if you are already joined, then you have seen your stuff. Yeah. Um, if not, then... These are the ones. They're kind of fun. And the other thing that's nice is you know that all of these are easy. Most of these are using fat quarters or, you know, fairly small cuts. Um, you mm -hmm. can obviously make a quilt bigger by, you know, I just... Love this one. Yeah, I know. By, I know, a little picket fence. One of your first quilts was that I one. I still have it. Mm hmm. Oh, it. little hearts. Yeah. Um, but then also, if you have some little person that is picking out a quilt for you to make, you can let them just thumb through yeah. your little recipe card file and box full these of will patterns. fit perfectly in a uh -huh. little um, picture book. Yeah. You know, you can get them at the dollar store. You can put them right the to back. The four by six. Yeah, they yeah. can just be back and forth. You yeah. can separate them. So these are all patterns that use pre-cuts. These are panel quilts. And these are just everybody else. Tracy, we got these all mixed up for you. Yeah, Mom for sure did. Okay. She was shuffling over here. Shuffling. <laughs> yes, we can play go fish. <laughs> ah, a fun little retreat one. Old maid. Um, and then when we were putting um, notions away off the table, there were a few we missed. Um, best press. I'm not sure we missed that, but um, oh. best press. So I've got like six new, not new flavors, just to the shop. So, um, citrus grove. A rose, tea, rose. tea rose. I think we also have, of course, scent free mm -hmm. in the little six ounce. Um, probably uh, linen and maybe like subtle lavender. I'm really glad they came out with the subtle lavender because they have like a s lavender thyme that's beautiful, but it is strong. Do you think it's strong? See, I I felt like it was a whole, whole lot, lot of, of stuff. lavender going on. The lav the subtle lavender is beautiful. I don't think it's overwhelming whatsoever. Um, and but it's fragrant, so I do have the fragrant free just in case you are sensitive to that. They have a new scent free that came out. I haven't got it yet. Um, I just don't know how you have two scent free because scent free is scent free. So I don't know if you know. Put in just put in the comments There's what you know about the new scent free and fragrance free. There's a scent free and like a scent free too. That's what she calls it, and I don't know why. Weird. I had enough research. When I just clicked it, I noticed, like, oh, that's weird. Scent free, scent free. Scent so free I got the original one. I don't have the new one in hmm. stock because I feel like I need to know more before I buy it. Hmm. Why is it? I find it's kind of funny because I find that I'm so much more sensitive to scents now than I used to be. It mm. was, um, we were, who was I in the store Which is crazy because you've always had a crazy nose. I have always had a crazy nose anyway. Super crazy nose. I mean, I can smell from She's a long a ways away. Over here. And Allie and I were shopping, but Allie had on her mask because she had just gotten off of a plane and mm -hmm. I think she was being a little nervous. And so she had a mask on. So we were in some store and the person that walked in in front of us had on a massive amount of cologne. And I said, mm -hmm. ooh, it's making my eyes water. So we went down, and all through this store, we were constantly <laughs> crossing. And I said to Allie, it's like, gosh, doesn't that, like, just, you know, bother your nose? And she said, no, she has the mask on. Oh, she That she couldn't yeah. smell it. But, um, but yeah, I found that I'm far more sensitive now, okay. which is weird. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. 
And then this fusible batting tape. So if you've mm -hmm. got batting bits and you want to use them, and you can totally put it in a quilt. Fuse, the, but just butt up those edges, use this little batting tape to fuse them together, yeah. give it to your quilter, quilt your quilt, rent a quilt, whatever you mm -hmm. want to do. Mm -hmm. To get your quilting done, you will never know. Mm -hmm. You you know, bunch them together. Yeah. Um, you, you can do it separate if you have a bunch of little pieces and some of it's a, you know, an 80, 20, 100% cotton, um, maybe a piece of polyester. You can mix and match those and fuse them together. Just keep in mind your quilt will vary in loftiness as you get you through your arrangement. It, but who cares? If it's a charity quilt, that cute little someone who gets that is not going to care. Mm -hmm. um, a baby is not going to care. I don't think I would care if I was cuddling on the couch with a quilt. I just want to be warm and snuggly. And I don't right. care if my toes have polyester and I'm covered in an 80-20. Whatever. No one knows. Um, you can get them in two sizes. You can get them in two rolls that are one inch by 30 yards. Or you can get one roll that is two inch wide by 30 yards. So they're exactly the same amount. Just one of them is cut in half and you've got one inch pieces. And I'm making it look, I was going to go ahead and show you what it looks like, You're but I can't, I'm making Why a mess because I need some anyway, but it, it's all, it's all wrapped with this. This is not it. It's nice. But what it tight. is, is it's just a, um, oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> I got you. It's just interfacing. Yeah. It's just fusible interfacing that is super, super, super lightweight. Yep. So once you have butted those two pieces of inner, um, yes, batting right. together, you just lay that down, hit it with your iron, mm -hmm. and you would never feel it. And it's way better than putting those two batting pieces together and doing that zigzag stitch, which is you can add muscle some. around your sewing machine, and it adds a little bit of bulk, and you break a needle, and oh, this yes. is way, 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 way better. Um, it's so it's, of course, fusible. So one side's rough. That's the sticky side that goes yeah. on your batting. And then the other side is super smooth, and that's the non-sticky side that you can just run right over. Yeah, with your iron. Good to have. There you are. Ten bucks. These are nice. great. Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Now we'll open some. I've got this funny shape. Sorry, Lizzie. Uh, Hoffman box. They, did you guys see the Sepsico needles? Mm -hmm. That was the other thing. These. This is the brand that Tracy likes. Kitamari. 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 Purpose, but I really liked those ones. She liked these. I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what this is. So these are more of the Dream Big panels Dream that big. we showed. We'll have to cut Did these show? apart. To yeah, the bag. I don't think we, show we, oh, showed, we showed the bag. The bag only. We'll still show these to you. Um, I think the rose. The and then apart. you guys have never. I mean, we. This is the first time we've got this in our shop. Mm. Um, this is wide. Dream big. Ah. Super cool. All right, so we'll cut these off and show them to you, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we were thinking, I think that we ordered a bunch of these, but are they just like uh, trickling in? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised yeah. that only a few came in. Only four, unfortunately. So, so this is a Dream Big um, panel. This is a rose. Can they see it? Man, that is, it's really gorgeous. Pretty. It is 43 inches square. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. We did do a um, long time ago. In fact, um, there's an uh, old, old video. This was during COVID, but we did, um, I think I used three um, of the panels. And so there's one that's right here in the center. And then I did one that I cut in half. So there's half here and half here. And then the other one is half here and half here. And then, um, yeah, that's it. To put the, that's it. I just need to get a border on it and get it quilted. And by me, I mean Brianna needs to. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the dahlia. Mm. So the same print as that, what the quilt was. This is just the teal colorway. Beautiful. Gosh, that's so rich. And it really is that dark on the edge. Isn't that pretty? Oh. So vivid. if you love that. This is like amazing. And so there is a line on these. So when you say two, they will be two individuals. Sometimes on a panel, you know, we will um, leave them running if they're like blocks mm -hmm. and it's eight blocks, you'll get 16 blocks if there's not a line there. But there, there is a line on these and there is a line on, on this. this. So this is what, so, 108 by 108? Yes, this is a dahlia panel. 
that has been jumbo sized and it's 108 inches wide by 100 inches long. Can they, can they show them the it? center? Uh-uh. So, yeah, see? so it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. So Gosh. it's a dahlia that's 108 inches square. It's fantastic. So I've got this one in. They, what do they call this one? The, this one's teal. Teal. They were both teal. So the little one looks just like the big one, just jumbo sized. Big. And then this one is Aurora. Aurora. And again, 108 by 108 Delia. And the name of my grandchild number five. <laughs> oh, so do you see the purple? And it goes up. Goes up. Oh, can you see the center? You're holding the center. Am I holding the center? There you go. Trying to. Yeah. Beautiful. Purple's blue, a little bit of teal. You still need anything else. Gorgeous. You just need so, so yeah, so these are panels that are in three yards. There's a cut line. So they will be sold in eaches. And then you can get one chunk. And there's only um I think three a few of each colorway. It's gonna get on a bolt, so depending on if it's a you know, a small bolt or a fifteen yard bolt will depend on how many three yard chunks there are. And so same can, game as one oh eight. And we can probably reorder these. I bet there's things that um mm -hmm. Hoffman continues. They've had dream big panels for a long time. Long, long so time. So it just depends on what's in stock at the warehouse now or what is in print or in printing and not back yet. Yeah. And also what colors they decide to redo, because that's the other funny yeah, thing is they that they might still colors. do it, but yeah, they aren't doing a All certain color anymore. So a couple yeah. years ago, if you got like a pastel, it might not be something that's available now. Yeah. Yeah, that is true too. All right. All right. Do we want to fold this I'm up? I'm going to, uh, let's do cutie. I'll fold these up while we take plastic off. Here is cutie, cutie box. Cutie is always pretty good for something. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> something <bright>. fantastic. <laughs> Look at that! Wow, beautiful butterflies. Butterflies, I'll tell you, butterflies and um, dragonflies Ooh. and bees. And what bees. is it about us and bugs? Right. Oh, what's that one? Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the same one in a different color. One. Oh my gosh. Super cool. All right. This is All nice. right. We'll take some plastic off, uh, open that guy, and we'll go back. Oh, it's so soft. Okay. Yeah, Miss woke up. Hi. 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 <laughs> hi. Your hair's all flat. And she's laying on it. She was napping. You gonna blow kisses? Mm. She's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Now we get to eat. I was asking Robert yesterday if my other two were just as cute as she was at this age, and he's like, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> now they're toddlers, so I was like, no. no. <laughs> they're not cute anymore. <laughs> Are you a cutie? It's yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she is. Yeah. yeah. She's adorable. She was, she's wanting to kiss everybody now. And I don't yes. know, had we already mentioned this? So um, No, they our, don't know. Our UPS driver normally is Alex. We have Alex is our UPS driver and Elliot is our FedEx driver. And so we know them, you know, really well. Yeah. We always say hello and they always have a treat for Lizzie and anyway, some random uh random one this time. UPS driver. We had never met him before, didn't know where Alex was, but anyway he came in and of course she's going Mm. <laughs> it's like, you don't know no. him, <laughs> and she doesn't even smooch for Alex. So no. not, she, we don't let her like randomly kiss people, but she was gonna. She's giving him out. Yeah, giving him out. Maybe she sensed he needed it. Maybe he needed a little extra. So She's scary. being a little chipmunk. So yeah, she is <laughs> starving. <laughs> She's been napping for a long time. I bet she fell asleep for about two hours. Mm. Mm. She's so cute. Mm. <laughs> and what's sweet is that she knows that this is a kiss. Not, you know, every other toddler would just, ah. Yeah. <laughs> she says, that's weird, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Oh. oh. Mm. All right. So let's uh, let's show some fabric. Well, and um, when we were opening, we were thinking. So we know that on those dahlia that we had ordered more colors, mm -hmm. and um, we did see another box there that we opened, and we thought that was what it was. It is not. But yeah. in a few minutes, we'll show we'll you show what was it. in there. But in the meantime. These gorgeous QT butterflies. Now, QT, uh, I think we mentioned this a lot. All of QT fabric now is digitally printed. They don't do the silk screen print anymore. It's all digital, which is really, really nice. They can do small batches or whatever. But what's really nice is the color clarity that they have um, and also the texture of it. So it's super, super, super soft. Really, really, really nice. Um, uh, very unique. Um, okay, so here's the panel. There is no line on the panel. So what that means is, of course, so you have 12 blocks in a panel, but if you ask for two, at least today or tomorrow, we will give you basically, um, we won't cut this for It'll you. We'll give you going. 24, which yeah. would be really nice. So you could really easily do Did you see it? that well enough? Did you guys see that well enough? She's back. She's, I want to see it. Ooh. Hi, you want to see it? Ooh. <laughs> So pretty. Um, and with the like panel, it. there's also a quilt. We are going to kit these up. So that means that there will not be a pattern to purchase separately on our website for this. We only got six of these patterns. We're going to kit. This will be your kit. Yeah, um, for we're going to do six of them. So it's um, a panel with a. You'll have. It's only ten um, panel squares. Mm -hmm. She'll actually have two to make a pillow or hang on to, but really fine. It's 53 by 63. And that's, that's only huge. with one border, which is included. Mm -hmm. um, you could just go ahead and get an extra yard and a half for another border if you want it to be yeah. um, bigger than that, but that's just And then right. um, a three and a half yards for your backing. Yeah. So we'll have so those kitted we'll up for you. So there's six of those. Yes. And then pre-cuts. So okay. 10 inch squares and fat quarters. No panel in your fat quarter. You have panels are sold separately. So fat quarters, 10 inch squares to go with um, all of it. It's really cute. It is called on painted wings. On painted wings. The panels will sell out quickly. We sometimes will get a second bolt of panels. We did not this time, which is unfortunate. So um, those will go sooner than they should, but it's just beautiful stuff. QT does such a nice job and again just such vibrant color and just such clarity of color because of their printing process. Super super soft um, high quality uh, cotton so really really nice. So this is that really nice kind of paisley-ish print with that yellow background really pretty. Oh this one. Oh my gosh I don't even know what's happening with that. That is so beautiful. Really, really pretty. This is the same as the yellow one, except it's on a blue background. This is the same as that pink one, but it is lime green. Very neutral. Awesome. Very soft and understated. Oh, I I don't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite piece. No, they're all really they're fantastic. Pretty. And then of course, the butterflies. I'll flip it over this way beautiful and these of course there's three of these as well so we've got it on a yellow background or on a blue background or on the white background awesome. really pretty and then these are the little just the little I guess their version of a blender mm -hmm. so there's the orange and yellow there's this really pretty there's like a couple of shades of pink in there with a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow. And then there is the blue. And you can't really see, the purple is a little more, stands out a little more than what is in, at least my this camera. This one? No, I feel like this oh, one. Oh, this one. And oh, it's mostly blue. Yeah. But yeah, it's But not, there is some purple in there and I feel like the purple yeah. is like super subtle, but it's, it's there. But I think it's because too, like look at it with this one. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then, these. Ooh, 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 ooh. So again, whatever that is. Awesome. Like tiles, mosaic. Pieces. Yeah. Green, pinks, but you know, oh, every I know. And then here's the blue one. But yeah. again, I mean, I say blue, but it's every color. It's yeah, just, it's just it's, blue. yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, 
<laughs> she loves it. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we're going to clean some stuff up and then... Yeah, we'll show you what's in that Hoffman box. Yeah. Okay, so this is what was in the box. And before we show you, I have to tell you that when this panel came in, we freaked out. I mean, a lot of people did because one of our favorite things, we have lots of favorite things in the shop. Let's just yep. be honest. I mean, we are addicted to fabric, which is why we sell it and why we sew it all the time. But anyways, the Call of the Wild line is Hoffman's um, wildlife panels that yes. they do. And they are absolutely stunning. Fantastic. When you just have to make kind of a really quick quilt and all you want is this fantastic panel. You're going to put a couple borders on it, quilt it and be good. Um, it really is nice. I mean, they're eagles, they're deer, the moose, the wolf. I mean, there, there's no, no again, one. no favorite. It doesn't matter. We sell out of them quickly. And so they did this panel. Um, you guys probably saw it about a month ago and we immediately, we really in fact, we weren't even done filming. It's like, Hey, how many what do you, you have that are left in the fact in the warehouse? We bought what was left. Yes. The reason we bought what was left is because we find that in our store, when we make a sample, and we it's hang it up. All Everybody, about the fabric. Yeah, and it creates almost anger. It's like, yeah, well, uh, why do you have that hanging up if I can't make one? Which is why, hey, which is why a lot of our samples are just made out of bright batiks because we feel like we could recreate yeah. that fairly easily. Yeah. So we are making a crackers this out of this panel. So if you remember seeing this panel, these are 12 inch squares of all of their most favorite Call of the Wild panels. And some that we haven't even seen in Call of the Wild panels. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and we're going to turn it into crackers. We're turning it into um, crackers. And you just have to imagine it. It's going to be fantastic because this is the cover of our quilt. But right here where all those flowers are sitting, or even on the back you might be able to sit it, those solid squares, that's where the Call of the Wild blocks will be. Yeah. And then we're going to have some um, rich browns and green batiks for the darks mm -hmm. and some mixed creams for the lights mm -hmm. and two and a half inch strips so even if you have jelly rolls or bolly pops or something that's wilderness yeah. oh! you can do the same thing you need some you need um four yards worth of dark two and a half inch strips and three yards Maybe. worth of light two and a half inch strips and roughly one jelly roll is about three yards yeah 42 Two and a half inch strips is about three yards of fabric. So you can use a jelly roll you already have, add some stash goodness to get to the appropriate number. We don't give you an exact number of strips because it will vary depending on if you're using just two colors and how squares, you're using it or where you're cutting super scrappy because you're mm -hmm. using all of those stash strips you have mm -hmm. so super cool so we're gonna have kits and we're gonna start making some blocks for this so we can show you and I think that we can even um, can we even put the kits on for pre-sale sure um, so we wanted to wait we didn't even want to start doing it um, until we knew that uh, we could show everybody, but it's like, well, yeah. I mean, I guess that's not really true. I really did take one of these home and I was going to make one anyway, but yeah. that's really the hard thing. People ask all the time about being a shop owner. It's like, well, do you sew for yourself? Ah, we rarely. do, but our problem is that we can't show you what we make. Yeah. Because when we make it, it's like, look what I finished. And they'll go, oh my gosh, where's that pattern? Or where's that fabric? I want to make that. And it's like, mm -hmm. come here. Yeah, because I have a lot say, that well, I've you been can't finishing. Make it because it's now it's all gone. Yeah, I have a lot yeah. that I've been finishing because I've been audio booking. And my yeah. job is to sew. So <laughs> keeping up with all my newest notions, you know. Um, so there's some that I could show you um, that I should bring and do some show and tell. They're not quilted or anything, but things I can show you. But again, the fabric I won't have. So like I've got my crazy stars all pieced yeah. together with a border, um, but yeah. So that's the hard part is we're behind the times. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we can pre-order these, and then I think what we'll probably do while we stitch some of these, we might do a quick little um, a YouTube oh, a class. Because YouTube YouTube I think crackers is the it. only thing. Well, not the only oh. one, but is one. Okay, <laughs> she's hugging it. Oh, she's hugging it. Oh, um, so I love it's really it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> She's so cute! So cute! Oh, you got found a necklace. Yes. Is that a pretty necklace? Mm -hmm. It's stuck on your thumb. Oh, it's gonna be broken. <laughs> Don't pull hard. <laughs> Don't pull hard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, all right. Okay, uh, we're going to clean up and we're going to be right back. Yes. Okay, so uh, we have a special guest. So I think that we had mentioned last Sunday that Don't we were going to have a special guest this morning. 
We did it this morning, but she's here now. So if you watched this morning, you know who it is. <laughs> and I still haven't looked to see who was the winner of our prize. I didn't look either. I still don't have internet. <laughs> At some difference. point. Maybe we'll be able to put it in the description or the comments. We'll, we'll tell you. We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. Again. We'll figure it out. But in the meantime, so... Um, oh, yes, we can all fit in here. Can we all fit in here? Yeah, we can. Oh, let's go sit together. Hello. 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 I'm back. <laughs> so if you watched this morning, you know that uh, we're rearranging the shop again because Edward Jones decides they're going to get a different place, which we are super excited. We're going to sneak our ways in there. And Brittany um, is going to rent the front part of it to do yes. her long business. Mm -hmm. So she will be quilting for other customers. She's been doing that for years. So mm -hmm. um, she's not stopped doing that. A lot of you guys already mail your quilts here. You can keep doing that. You can drop them off. You can do whatever you'd like to do. But the second part that she is now starting as of, do we know dates yet? Roughly April 15th. Roughly making April sure that we can get everything moved in. She has two long arms, and so she is going to rent them. We talked about it this morning, but that was how, when we first started the shop cool. here, that was the first thing that we did, was we rented out our long arm. It got so busy that we ended up having two long arms that were both rented every day, six days a week, mm -hmm. with people coming in to be able to finish their quilts. Because again, sometimes it's a finance thing. It's certainly cheaper to be able to rent the machine and do it yourself. And also, people just want to finish it yeah. themselves. Yeah. Um, also, she'll teach classes, do one-on-one -on -one stuff. So it'll be really, really exciting. And we will, um, what we'll probably do is after everything is set up and after everything is moved in, we'll go, tour we'll go up spot. and we'll yeah. do a little tour and have her <laughs> explain a little bit more. But we do now have an email address. I think this morning we said, just go ahead and email it to info at, and Tracy would print it off. But now, what is your email address? It's brighteyeservices at gmail.com. Okay, and Brianna will type yep. it across the bottom here. And then so. you can send her any questions, pricing, mm -hmm. um, book me now, whatever, and then she will get back to you as she has everything finalized and she knows when her first customer can come in and hang out with her. Super yeah. exciting! Yeah. We're excited for you. Yeah. We're just excited to have her back in here hanging out with us. So yeah. Ma, Ma, Nana's going to be over there knocking like, hey, can I come in? <laughs> I'm trying to hide from work, so I'm going to hide in here. <laughs> Aurora Let's just leave this excited. door open. <laughs> Aurora. Oh, I yes. know. I know. One more little baby. Yeah. So, yes. Super, super fun. So, all, all right. right. So, let's see. What did we see today? Let's do a little wrap up. We saw. We saw quite a bit. Uh, the what, massive lots of notions. notions. Ooh, lots of massive notions. notions. Super sorry about that. So, but. if there is anything you couldn't find, I didn't link, or not sure what you thought you saw and couldn't find, put in your notes. Yeah. We'll or call send you. us an email and said, hey, they showed this. I thought it was for this. We got you. We will call, send a PayPal invoice or whatever. Um, so lots, lots of notions. Um, then we saw Hoff big dream stuff. Mm -hmm. So whether it's the 42 inch, we have others that are in stock that you didn't see. Mm -hmm. um, big dream. So we got the rose, the dahlia, and then the big three yard cut, which is super, super cool. Yeah. Not very many of those. Cool. If you are watching this late and you do not see them, it's because they're gone. We yeah. will order more. We have already ordered more. And yeah. I think it's just as the colors Put are Put it in your notes. Say, hey, I was really wanting that uh, three yard cut. Of Put the me on the list. Or of the blue. Put it on the list and I'll make sure I have more and that you get first dibs. We'll essentially put you on a waiting list yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, and then QT, the, what was it? On wings. On painted on wings. On painted wings. Super awesome. And so kits, kits with and that. And pre-cuts. And yeah. Not enough fabric to go around. Not enough fabric to go around. And yes. also the crackers kits for the, and where will they find this one? This is in the uh, called the wild. So I'll put that in the okay. what's new for you. You can get just the panel just the pattern or we'll, we'll do pre-order kits. Um, your quilt will be about 88 by 108. Um, we're not going to put a border. So you'll see on that top one, you see how there's a border. I'm going to omit the border in your kit. All you're going to have is the panel and all of the fabric to do the piecing. You can decide if you want to put that four inch border around it and of what color. Um, and again, we're going to do some basic batiks to go with this in our strips. So you can again get more of a batik. You can wait, get your quilt top done, and then pick your batik. It'll be super easy to blend and to add anything you want. And you never know what's coming next. There's also... Um, 
this print. So when we not much of that, left. not much of it left, but if you were able to get this when we first got this one, you mm -hmm. could do this for the border. You would need a yard and a half. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of this. It left. is directional. It is directional, but super cool. So yeah, it's fantastic. Super cool. Yeah. You'll also see this in Call of the Wild. So, <coughs> so yeah, there you go. And special news. All right. And special news. All right. Special news. Good news. All right, you yeah. guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.